Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out Cardano's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, classic technical analysis, and also indicators. Now, as per usual, in every single ADA video, I need to tell you that in the long term, in terms of Elliott Waves, I am absolutely 100% bullish in ADA because I think this is a 5 wave up into a wave 1 and then a correction for wave 2. And right now, we might be on our way to have a very, very strong extension structure. Meaning, this is going to be also another 5 up into a wave 1 and then a correction for wave 2. But this 1 and a 2, in my opinion, is actually on a lower degree relative to this 1 and a 2 in here. And the idea is that after our wave 2 is over, or who knows, maybe it's actually over already, we are going to get a big move up into wave 3, 4, 5. And at that point, we can say that this white one two three four five up it's going to be the sub waves for this larger degree wave three and then after it we're going to get a correction for four and then another move on the upside into wave five so this is why i am extremely extremely bullish in cardano and by the way just a minimum target for this wave three right in here is going to be setting an all-time high and taking the highest high in this region about let's say three three and a half dollars and by the way no just because i put the end of this wave 5 to somewhere around 4k doesn't mean that we're gonna go there. no these are just to show the general patterns which again in my opinion are extremely extremely bullish now let's go on some lower time frames and see what is going on in here so here is the situation i think right now in my primary scenario this is going to be a correction up and not an impulsive movement and it might be a wxy in form of a double zigzag here is our first abc up into wave w correction for wave x as you can see in form of a triangle structure to about this point and then from here to somewhere around the highest side in this area about 80 81 cents we are having i believe another abc zigzag on the upside now just because we are having a correction up and not an impulsive movement does this mean that we are going to go straight down in our time to set new lows i think that is a possibility fair enough but in my opinion we are also having another correction structure in this area as well so what's the message in here in my opinion bullish or bearish in the midterm in cardano's price chart i think we are going to get at least another move up in our time to take the highest high in this area about 80 cents for the first target so this is why in the midterm, I am going to be actually quite bullish in ADA's price chart. Now, let's go around this area. There we go. If you want to argue, for example, we are going to have our final bottom somewhere around this region, and maybe this is going to be like a very important support. Okay, off of it, you need to be able to find a 5 wave on the upside, and this thing is going to be a normal 5 wave. The rules for us are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave 2 and wave 4, and in any kind of impulsive movement wave 3 shouldn't be the smallest wave and for the sub waves 5 up into wave 1 3 and 5 let's just do this and this is our final 5 wave into wave 5 and for our corrections for wave 2 and 4 we can consider different patterns let's say abc for 4 and sure a w x y structure into wave 2 understood nice because we are now going to see what is happening in a very very short time and can we be bullish in ADA's price chart? The answer is actually yes. You see, I think chances are this is going to be from this point one, two, three, four, five up into a wave one correction for wave two. And in the previous videos, we were saying, hey, this is going to be most likely one, two, three, four, five wave impulsive structure into a larger degree wave three. And that's why in the previous video, I said, look, we are going to get, in my opinion, a move down in ADA. But we shouldn't be worried about that move because according to this scenario, that's just going to be a correction structure into wave 4. And after that correction is over, we are going to get another big move on the upside into wave 5. And we talked about this possibility when we were somewhere around these areas. And as you can see, we did actually get our move down. But here's a question. Can we say that this move down right in here has actually ended and now it's going to be the time to get another move up into this wave five well let's zoom in a bit more and see what is going on in this region so in the previous video i said for this move down we can consider different possibilities one scenario can be starting from this high one two three four five wave down into wave a and we said okay chances are we might get a correction structure on the upside and maybe this is going to be like an abc to about this high and then after that we're going to get another move down but as you can see 
after this move down we got another move up and now i'm going to tell you this is actually an abc up but into a larger degree wave a and then abc down for wave b and another five wave on the upside into our c leg and basically this is going to be starting from this point and a b c in form of a flat structure into this wave b and from the side we can say okay maybe this is going to be like sure five down into wave one correction for wave two and then big five wave down into wave three correction for four and we're gonna have another move on the downside into wave five this is definitely a possibility in ada's price chart that suggests our move down right now it's not over yet now can we consider another possibility yes in another scenario i'm going to argue maybe instead of a five wave down in here we are going to have if i just take this one excuse me an a b c in form of a zigzag structure and followed by that i still believe this is going to be an abc flat on the upside and in this area i think we may have starting from this high five wave down to about here maybe into wave a correction for wave b and another move down into our c leg and then a correction structure on the upside in here maybe sure let's say abc or maybe a wxy doesn't really matter and we may have starting from this high an a b c in form of a zigzag structure now here's a very important point even according to this possibility in a very short time i think we might actually continue our move down because in an abc you need to have five wave down into wave a correction for wave b and another five down into our c leg and i do believe this is actually a one two three four five and then a correction on the upside maybe an abc sure but here is the situation i think we are having one two and then this is going to be most probably in cardano's price chart a correction for four and then after it we can expect another move down into wave five and at that point maybe maybe our move down in ada starting from this high rush in here is going to be over but the point that i'm trying to make is this it seems like that at least in a very short time we're not actually done yet going down in cardano's price chart and chances are we are actually going to get some more moves on the downside but again we shouldn't be in my opinion worried about anything chances are this is going to be just a simple correction structure into this wave 4 and after it's over we are going to get another big move up into wave 5 now what is going on in terms of classic ta meaning support and resistances and as you can see we are around this very very important resistance area and that's why when we were around this region i said hey makes sense that by the first time that we touch this area we get some sort of a rejection or at least a reaction from this very important resistance and as you can see we did actually get our move on the downside and i'm going to tell you if in cardano at one point we see another solid move up in our time to have a five wave impulsive structure into this wave five and then after it we start to consolidate above this very important region at that point we are going to be extremely extremely bullish because i could argue that the next target is going to be most probably around this very important area and i think at that point a better target can be actually somewhere around the higher side in this region about let's say 80 cents so in my opinion breaking this level right in here in cardano's price chart is going to be an extremely extremely bullish sign but again let me just tell you before we get this move up chances are in a very short time we might get another move on the downside now let's check out indicators and see what is happening in some higher time frames okay as you can see in a stock higher side we are having a buy signal a go right sign that suggests maybe the bottom is in but we are still having a sell signal in macd so maybe if you want to be 100 bullish it's best to wait a bit more and see also a buy signal in macd and in daily time frame what is happening okay we are having a sell signal in macd and a stock rsi at the same time and again this suggests that in like very short time, there is a good chance that our move down in Cardano may actually continue for quite a bit. So I hope I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in ADA's price chart. Anyway, if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets you can become a member and ask me anything you want and i hope you have a wonderful day goodbye